Jason, what was Josh able to do to get you guys off to that first start in the first quarter with those 15 points? Yeah, um, I think he was aggressive. He, uh, he didn't hesitate, caught and shot, um, got, got to the basket. Um, I think just a lot of carryover in what he's been doing uh, this preseason. Did you get the minutes from the starters that you wanted? I know you said at halftime you were going to talk to them. Yeah, we, we got the minutes uh, that we, we needed. Uh, Kai at 26, Josh Lively, those guys, Grant 25. So, yeah, we, we got those guys to the third quarter. Um, they, were, they were pretty comfortable with, with the minutes. You've said in the past, uh, you know, with Bronson before, even with uh, Josh last year, that you, you're all about getting your guys paid. Uh, do you think any part of him had that uh, 23rd deadline in his mind tonight? Um, I, I, that I don't know. I think he's just trying to um, play the game the right way, do everything that he has uh, been working on this summer, um, the things that we've asked him to do, um, both offensively and defensively. I think that's what he's been focused on. I think the, the contract is going to take care of itself at some point. Um, that quote of mine has uh, been trash. We've been, we've been put that in the vault for a while, but that's uh, that's you know he's he's going to get a contract at some point. And if it's not now, it's going to be uh, after the season. But he's he's doing everything to uh, be successful without the contract or with the contract, and so he's just focused on, on doing the right things. And he did that you know for us to train camp, and we believe that he's going to do that for us during the season. Jason, understanding that, you know, you said when I asked about it before the game that the uh, number one priority was health tonight. However, uh, there is the saying, nothing succeeds like success. And how did you feel about the way the starters played and the lead they were able to build and, and to be able to finish off the preseason winning a game? Yeah, I think um, all the above, when you look at um, the way that we've been talking about pace, uh, we haven't been seen by the public for a while. So um, I thought, for the public to see that we can play fast, to have 40 points there in that first quarter, um, and then also to you know come back in that third and, and almost kind of have that same mentality. So it was good to see that starting group play. Um, again, there's a lot of combinations out there uh, that we're looking at. A lot of good things rebounding. I, I thought we, we tried not to foul tonight. I thought we did a really good job of keeping Detroit off the free throw line. Uh, we can get a little bit better with the rebounding, but I thought the effort was there. Um, a lot of a lot of good things for us carrying going into uh, into San Antonio. Why did you feel like that there were more touches available within the flow of the game for Lively on offense tonight? Yeah, I think just you know playing through him. I, I think the guys are comfortable when you know throwing him the ball, and uh, I think with Kai, he's going to create you know a lot of attention, and he's not afraid to to bounce pass or lob it to 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 Lively. Again, I think Lively did a great job of just being able to catch and being able to finish. He, you know, he didn't do anything fancy. He just did his job tonight. Uh, he loves playing the game. Um, he plays the game the right way, so we're lucky to have him on our side. You said yesterday that he had been running with the second team sometime uh, earlier in the week. The fact that he started and played well tonight, does, he, does that solidify his spot as a starter? That's just to keep X off my ass. <laughs> It's been great um, playing with both the starters and, and the second group. Um, I think it's a great question to ask the guys who are playing with them. Um, they enjoy, uh, you know, him out there. Uh, he protects them on the defensive end, and then offensively, he's a threat. Uh, being able to set screens, uh, being able, I think, um, sometimes we take it for granted that he has great hands of being able to come up with the ball in traffic. And then I think one of the things we'll see as we go through this journey with him is his ability to pass. Um, he, he understands how to play the game uh, with the DHOs and then um, being able to find an open teammate. So he has all the tools. It's just a matter of being able to uh, get him the minutes uh, to go through the oven um, as a rookie and then uh, you know bring him out on the other side with confidence. Coach, you guys have one late, oh, sorry, Baker. Um, uh, the first game of the season. Just what are your thoughts about his um, his game thus thus far? Your via highlights or what you've seen outside? Yeah, he, he's a he's uh, he's why he was drafted number one. <laughs> he has the skill set um, on the perimeter, um, lobs. Uh, he has great hands. Uh, he can put the ball on the floor. 
know, so he's 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 a problem, and so we got to figure out how to slow him down a little bit. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you, guys.